Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to start off a new data analyst project where we will be doing some analysis on data from the Olympic Games. We'll start off by reading and understanding the business problem. From there we will take a look at the data set and decide which data it is that we need to solve this business problem. And then we will break down the transformations that we have made in SQL to prepare the data for data analysis. So before we jump into the project, let me just show you how you can set this up and give you guys a quick walkthrough of that. If you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have a section called Data Analyst Projects. And under there, there is the first project, which is an intro and setup to a different project, which is a sales analysis project. Now, when you go to show more, under there, there will be different parts, which is the necessary files, installing SQL Server, and installing SQL Server Management Studio. Now, basically what you need, you need an instance, an engine, to connect a database to and you need a management studio to be able to query that database which you have connected to your instance to your engine. So here you're gonna find the link to a SQL Server, you're gonna find a SQL Server Management Studio and it's also gonna show you how you can connect to a database but the database that you're gonna connect to or restore because it's a backup file of a database is the one that is in the description of this video. So the one, <coughs> excuse me, this video is going to show you how to do the different parts, all the components you need, and the actual backup file that you need, the Olympic Games dataset, you're, you're going to find in the description of this video that you're watching right now. Then we can jump on to the business problem. <clears throat> now, whenever you want to do some data analysis, it's important that you start with the business part first, and that's why I want to start with that. We could have jumped into the data and start to look at the data, <clears throat> but if I don't know what is the purpose, if I don't know what I'm solving, if I don't know what is required of me, I don't have something to, to look back at. I don't <clears throat> have something to verify that I'm doing the right thing. Um, that's why we need to understand that first. So let's read through that. So as a data analyst working at a news company, you are asked to visualize data that will help readers understand how countries have performed historically in the Summer Olympic Games. You also know that there is an interest in details about the competitors, so if you find anything interesting, then don't hesitate, hesitate to bring that in also. The main task is still to show historical performance for different countries with the possibility to select your own country. Now let's just spend a little bit of time on this. Uh, just point out a couple of things. So as a data analyst, you're working at a news company, you are asked to visualize data. So what does that mean? We need a dashboard that will help readers understand, help readers understand how countries have performed. So let's just do this. So, so our, our users are the readers. So we need to think about them. And also we need to think about that we, you know, countries is part of this. So that is a dimension, that is a way to slice your data. Uh, how countries have performed historically in the Summer Olympic Games. So let's, let's just, you know, think about these things. Performed historically, which means we need something over time. In the Summer Olympic Games, we need, which means we need to filter something down to a subset because you have Winter Games, you have Summer Games. Um, and now you can see how, thank, thank, because I have a business problem, I can start to already think about what is it, it is that I'm going to create. If I start by looking at the data and then think, oh, what can I create based on this? Then, then you don't really have something to connect against. You don't have a real purpose with what you're doing. You're just looking at data. Um, this is going to give us context and, and a, 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 a problem to solve. So you also know that there's an interest in details about the competitors. So we can go details, competitors, you know, the people competing. So if you find in anything interesting, then don't hesitate to bring that in also. Okay, <clears throat> the main task is still to show historical performance for different countries with the possibility to select your own country. So if we translate that from you know business to technical, we need uh, data which shows something over time. We need to be able to filter on countries as a dimension, and we need to be able to ensure that the visualization that we create allows for you to select your own country and isolate on that. So that is a slice or a filter of some sort. So this is the business problem. Now we can move on to look at the data. <clears throat> now, as I said, I have imported this data into SQL 
serve, uh, into a, uh, <clears throat> I connected the data to my instance and now I'm in uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so I can query the data. So you can see now, here I have the Olympic Games database and that is the one you can find in the description and that is the one you're going to restore or connect to the instance that you will install and all this <clears throat> is managed by SQL Server Management Studio. Now, if we go back to the table, let's look at what kind of data do we have. So we have, let's see if I can get this in a good way. There we are. So we have the ID, which is the, the competitor ID. We have the name. <coughs> we have their sex, uh, age, height, their weight, NOC, which is some sort of country code. We have the games, which says something about the year and the season. We have which city it uh, was in, sport, the event, and what kind of medal was recorded. So already, we can see this is the data that we have. This is the data that we're gonna work with. Uh, and then we're gonna go through each column now because I have another um, part where I've done all the transformations. I'm gonna walk through those and try and connect the purpose and the different changes I do back to why I have made those transformations. So this is what the data looks like <clears throat> straight from the table without any transformations. Now I've added on some logic and we can walk through that as we get through this. There are different ways of doing this, but th these are some of the things that I've added because I think that creates business value. I think that will solve the, the problem that we just went through in a good way. So if we start from the top, <clears throat> you can see that um, I haven't done anything to the, the business, uh, to the, uh, the competitor ID. I think that's fine as it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is... <clears throat> See if that helps. Um, so we, we have the ID of the competitors. That is what we're going to use to later count. You know, if we count a distinct from that, we can figure out exactly how many people have competed throughout history. Then we have the name. I have renamed the name to competitor name. Uh, I just thought that was, uh, you know, a little bit more more, you know, business friendly. But <clears throat> you can just keep it as name. Then. <coughs> Then I have done a case statement. So when the sex equals M, I have written male, else female, because I just I just think, you know, I just want to use that instead of M and F. So that's something you can do. We have the age. And then what I've created, I've created an age grouping. And that is because you can count how many medals have the different ages gotten, or how many competitors do we have per different ages. But I think sometimes it's nice to have it in groups. So I've added a case statement where you look at you know the different ages and then you then you group them into different buckets um, depending on <clears throat> what what age they are and I'm just called it group, age grouping. If we go down here, you can see what that looks like. <clears throat> you can see we have the age and then we have the age grouping. So now I'm you know I'm thinking about the business problem. I'm thinking about the end users. You know. I'm trying to make the, the, the columns easy to understand. I'm trying to make the labels, you know, self-explanatory. I'm trying to think of, okay, I have, I have age, I have age grouping. Um, that's two different ways of looking at the details about the predators, which I might think will be useful. Um, and then we have, <clears throat> we have their height, I've kept that. We have their weight, I have kept that. That's also details about the competitors that I might want to look at later. This one, NOC, I just meant, named it Nation Code, which I think is a better um, better name for a column than, than NOC, uh, and it will look better on the picture. To figure out which year and season this belongs to, I have split the Games column into two. So you can see here, this column shows a combination of the year and the season. Now, the way I've done that is I've used a <clears throat> function called char index and what that is going to do it is going to search for a specific character and in this case the character is a space because I know there's a space between the year and the season and then it's going to give you a value of how many 
how many, uh, how can I say this, how many characters from the left side is it before you come to the space? So you can see now, <clears throat> if, you, if you see that this one says chart index games, which is the column, this is space, look for space in the column games, and then I've said minus one, and I'm going to explain why. But this is going to give you how many characters does it take before you find the space? And it's gonna it's gonna be five because what is it doing? It is counting one, two, three, four, and five. But then I've said take that minus one because I, I know that years is only four four over. It's only four characters. So that's why I do chart index <clears throat> minus one. If I set it to 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 uh, you know no minus one, you'll see that. Oh, let me see. Okay. You can see that example one now became five, but I don't want to bring the space with me. Let's do minus one. Okay. Then I did the same thing <clears throat> from the right side, except that I reversed which which direction I read from. So I'm saying, look at the games column from the right side, and then figure out how many characters do you have to move over to get to the space. You get to the space and take minus one because I don't want to bring the space with me. Then what I'm doing is I'm saying use the left function. So what left is going to do, it is going to take everything to the left of the number that the chart index returns. So that will make sure that that, that isolates the year, <clears throat> then the one below. It's going to do the same thing from the right. It's going to say take everything from the right side that comes within the value that the char index returns. So if char index returns four, then that's gonna give me everything in the games column that is within the four fourth character from the left side. If char index returns six, then it's gonna give me everything within the games column six times over from the right side. And that makes sure that I have split it into two and I'm not specifying myself how many. I am using logic. I'm looking for the space to figure out how much, how many characters do you have to go from left or right side. <clears throat> now I don't need the example columns for this. I'm going to remove those, and I don't need the games column. But I wanted to keep it to show you guys what this will look like. So that is how I have split the year and season into two different columns and I'm going to use that logic moving on. Then we have sport which is just which sport that is and then we have the event which is what is the full name of the event. The last thing I've done is I've said that when the medal is NA then put not registered as I thought that was a better um, explanation else use the medal column as this which will give you gold, silver and bronze etc. Um, then we have a where clause <clears throat> where you know I'm using the same logic as I used above here um, and I'm saying equals summer which will ensure that I only get the data for the summer season back which once again aligns with my business problem, my business case. Which also tells me you actually don't need this column because all the data is going to be the summer season so this should give you exactly what you want. So it's like all, oh, and then we execute this. You will see that now we have the data that we need to move on to data analysis. That is the problem statement that we're going to work with. These are the transformations that I decided to do to make sure that I respond to that business problem. You can make other ones if you want to. Just to point it out, I will add the PowerPoint, I will add the SQL statement. And I will also add a link to the database, which you need to, to recreate this in the description. You will have all of that there and I will upload it on GitHub. And just to give you guys a small preview, I have started to create the Olympic Game, Games Analysis Dashboard. This is what I'm thinking it will look like. I might more, work more on it, but this shows at least a starting point of where I want to take it. If you guys have any questions or you guys are struggling with recreating this as I have done, then let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Other than that, if you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos on data analysis, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.